Yeah, so today I'm going to present you the UI alert controller uh, that is added in iOS 8 itself and uh, prior to that we have to use uh, that is UI alert view and the action sheet. So this UI alert controller replaced both the things that is the UI alert view and the action sheet that, that is to be implemented by using the single UI alert controller now in iOS 8. So let me create a demonstrative project for you to create an example so let it be a single view application its name should be like uh, alert controller now it's, uh, it's pretty cool uh, language should be swift okay we are not going to use encode data let's move forward create this project and we are here so we have two files that is app delegate swift and the uh, view controller dot swift so I need to make few changes in that like I can decrease the size of this this is looking pretty cool now I have to add two buttons over here one is for alert view and another is for action sheet show alert show alert view And another one is for show action sheet. Now it's cool. So I need to make two actions for these two buttons. So let me do it in this way. This is my show alert view. Press control and hold and you can create action like this. Open alert view let's say the name of this function same in case of second in case of action sheet press control hold and you can drag over here this should be action again and the name of the action is open action sheet okay it's cool that's fine so let's come to my view controller dot swift here are two actions that i need to implement so uh, the creation of the basic ui uh, ui alert controller is very similar to that we have uh, like we created the ui alert view uh, and all that stuff so let me create an alert controller alert controller that is should be alert controller alert controller title let's say title is hi message this is alert controller and uh, this should be none okay that's fine okay sorry the, we have to change this preferred style so preferred style is again this this we have two kind either we have an alert or we have an uh, action sheet so we need to mention it over here either it should be alert or action sheet so as of now in this function we are going to create an alert so that's why we preferred style is alert over here okay so now again <coughs> if you need to uh, add some buttons like ok and cancel in that then we have to add those buttons like ui alert action in the form of ui alert actions so let me do it again that is cancel action let's say uh, that should be of ui alert action kind of UI alert action title title uh, could be let's say cancel style so actually uh, we have three possible choices for this style that is either we can use default cancel or destructive actions 
so as of now I can use cancel over here handler uh, I have to give a function over here that's a dismiss alert so it is showing error because I haven't defined this function so let me do it dismiss alert Alert. Alert action. Okay, now it's fine. So I can dismiss this self dot dismiss with controller animated. Let's say true completion. I don't need it as of now. So it's something like this so I can run this program okay let me do it run on iPhone 5s because this simulator is pretty slow so actually sometimes this X code is very slow so in the same way we can create an action sheet so I will show it to you as well so yeah we are here <coughs> show alert view okay 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 blunder mistake we have done we haven't present this present alert controller animated yes true completion we don't need as of now let's run it again yeah so we are here so cancel button is not actually we need to add this we forget to add this over here so uh, it should be like uh, load controller dot add action and the action is cancel action for example over here so let's run it again yeah so we are with this cancel once i click on it and that will, this function will get cool and uh, it will dismiss the controller so in the same way we can create an action sheet as well so everything is almost same but what i just need to make few changes like uh, uh, this should be action sheet action sheet controller here it should be action sheet and uh, we can add okay we can now run this so once I click over here now this is this opens like an action sheet once you cancel on that it will be cool so you can add more actions over here in the action sheet like uh, open some document or anything that you would like to add so it's not a big deal 
so uh, even you can add some text field as well so there is a method like uh, alert controller add text field with configuration handler so you can you, you also get a handler method to to configure your text field like to add placeholders and all that so this is a very simple stuff so in this way we can replace both the UI alert view and the action sheet by using a single UI alert controller that is added in iOS 8. Okay that's it as of now so thanks for listening to me and or you can follow us in our channel that is Corbett Software Solution. Thank you very much.